everybody. In this video, we'll be talking about a very frustrating, dare I call it, feature that Facebook has recently introduced to the website. So, we're looking at the Facebook home feed, and for obvious reasons, I have this blurred out. I mean, for the privacy of my friends and followers. The issue is, recently, Facebook changed the site to where when you leave your browser for even just a few minutes sometimes and you return back to the page your Facebook home feed will just automatically shift back up to the top of the page and reload and I find this extremely frustrating because in some cases there was a post that I was looking at and let's say I walked away from the computer for a moment I come back to sit down and I was wanting to see something on that post and BAM the thing reloads and I done lost track of where I was at. It's extremely frustrating. I've already submitted a complaint slash feedback to Facebook on why this wonderful feature should be removed because let's face it, your web browser, you know, has this little button right here called the reload slash refresh button. And also this button right there also does the same thing. So when I click it, it does this right here. So in just a moment, I'm going to come back and I'm going to demonstrate Facebook doing this on its own. As you can see right here, this is what I'm talking about. When you come back to the page, it just reloads and it says, the heck of what you're looking at, I'm reloading the page. So here's how I can fix that. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to download an extension for your browser, depending on whether you're using Chrome or Firefox or Edge. So the browser extension is known as Always Active Window. And you can see it's also available for Firefox. So what we'll do is we'll go to the um, page for Chrome. Now I've already installed this in Chrome, I just disabled it for the um, purposes of this video. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to install it and then so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to your extensions. So you have to go to Chrome and then extensions like right up here. And what we gotta do is we'll go ahead and select the extension. So we'll go and re-enable it since we had turned it off. So we'll go to details. And the way this works is you have to go to site access and by default it's allow this extension to read and change all your data on websites you visit we'll change that from on all sites to specific sites so what we're going to do is we'll type in the web address for facebook.com and we'll add that. So what this will do is it will only allow this extension to operate on the website that you grant access to. So if you want to add additional websites to the allow list, all you have to do is either add them manually by clicking add a new page. Another way you can add websites is to go to a specific website you would like to add the extension to. You'll click up here to the extensions and you'll see access requested. There are two different um, extensions that are requesting access. These are the extensions I have installed and the ones that say no access needed they're listed down here. So all you have to do is just click on that extension and you can grant access. So anyways all you have to do after that is just refresh your Facebook feed and no more auto refreshing. So anyways Hopefully this helps. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video from Cuckoo Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and be sure to tick the bell so we can know if I new video posts. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. And share this video as well as the channel with your friends and get the word out. Also, I have a second channel, that's Cubecomp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about thunderstorms and weather, cycling, and videos about me personally. Feel free to subscribe over there as well if you like. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.